Police encampments now banned around schools in Sacramento city limits. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News. I'm Nikki Lorenzo. And I'm Eric Harriman. That ban is a move that Vice Mayor Angelique Ashby pushed forward to improve safety for students. But other city leaders are worried that it's going to leave the unhoused with nowhere else to go. Fox 40's Mason Morrow joining us now to share the impact this could have. I'm here at Sutter Middle School, where just a month ago, an unhoused man was arrested by officers after reportedly harassing students in the area. But now a new 500 foot ban around all city schools would disallow any unhoused person from camping near the schools. But some city leaders wonder if that ultimately does any good. Already have so much to deal with. Vice Mayor Angelique They're Ashby frustrated them. during Tuesday night's city council meeting amid some pushback against the 500 foot school safety zone. We can't protect kids and worse, we can't even prioritize them for 500 feet around their school. What are we doing? The vote to include schools in the city's critical infrastructure list passed unanimously, but not without some discussion. We're just mitigating the impacts of not having real time response and services available for people who shouldn't be on our streets without the help that they desperately need. But Katie Valenzuela, who represents District 4 in Sacramento, worries the move will outlaw pre existing service sites for the unhoused that operate within 500 feet of schools. I'm worried, for instance, that this ordinance would shut down sites like that, which would really run counter to our goals of making sure that we're providing as much space as we can for people to be getting the help that they need. But Ashby, who called for the school buffer zone just days after the arrest near Sutter Middle School, is adamant the ban be instituted without any exception. It's not about one school site. It's not about one incident. This is about kids being safe at school. And it's about schools being a priority to this city. In a statement to Fox 40, the Sacramento City Unified School District says, quote, there have been no concerns about unsheltered interacting with students on site. There have been situations where unsheltered have exposed themselves or yelled inappropriate comments to our students, all of which have been off site. A spokesperson for the Sacramento Regional Coalition to End Homelessness tells me this move by the city, quote, leaves very few places for our 7,000 unhoused neighbors to go due to lack of shelter and housing. If the city council really cares so much about children in the city, why have they done nothing about homeless students in the Sacramento school districts? Just by the latest count, the Sacramento uh, school district here has more than 360 unhoused children. Reporting in Sacramento, I'm Mason Morrow. Fox 40 News.